everyone welcome back to unsolicited bourbon reviews and this is episode 40 uh, i know there's been quite a hiatus since our last episode uh, in between me having allergy problems actually physically getting sick uh just being super super congested uh made it hard for me to not only drink bourbon but actually smell it and actually adequately do these reviews so um but yeah, just enough reasons why I'm telling you guys like why I couldn't do shit uh, that I was set out to do. But uh, we're here. We're here. We're, we're trying to get back on track and hopefully uh, these things will start coming again at a pretty consistent cadence. So for our 40th episode, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and touch upon uh, George Dickel again. I know we did his eight year um, bourbon uh, really early on in, in these in these series, but um, you know, in honor of episode 40, uh, in honor of our friend Marshall being 40 and this being the oldest bourbon I, or whiskey I have on hand, it all makes sense. So, um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit about it. So this is actually, so this is age 15 years. Uh, this is a Tennessee whiskey. This is a single barrel. Um, by now we know the difference between a single barrel and, uh, not a single barrel. So I'm not going to go through that again, but this is here at the George Dickel, Dickel distillery, uh, here in the greater Nashville area, about 45 minutes South of the city. Uh, <clears throat> again, cool distillery, great offerings. Again, I really like their bourbon, especially the eight year. Uh, it's excellent. Um, uh, it's in one of the heavy rotations, but, um, so this, again, this is aged at 15, at least 15 years was said in here, but this is actually, um, a store pick. Uh, so this was, uh, actually, this is actually 17 years. So, uh, now we're gonna get to the price point on this. So the price point, uh, this was $62. So the fact is you're getting a 15 year whiskey plus, or in this matter, a 17 year whiskey for $62, regardless of like how it tastes. So even it doesn't blow you away, but it's still palatable. You cannot beat that. I, I don't know really any other offerings or, or expressions from any other distillery that will, is willing to give up a 15 year for under 80 bucks. So this is the fact, this is, this is 62 to $62 and, and this happened to be a store pick, but we'll open it up. As you see, I haven't touched this in a while. So I'm really curious. This is the smell of cork. Um, I think I opened this last no uh last december last november uh so it's been quite some time since i got into it again i kind of been hooked on some other stuff but it's always nice to come back to something uh you know the one i really enjoy and two i haven't you know touched in a while so uh again it's that nice mahogany color very dark so again it's very consistent with the with the age and for the proof it's a 96 it's a 96 proof so it's a uh, 50.4% alcohol ABV. So it's not too crazy. Uh, I'm surprisingly for a single barrel, it's not over a hundred, but um, again, 96, it's nothing really to, to scoff at. So uh, we'll go ahead and give it a whirl. So again, it has that, again, that dickle must, um, and people are pretty critical about that. I know I talked a little bit about that uh, with the eight year bourbon um, that, you know, they say, you know, George, George, anything George Dickel kind of has a Flintstones vitamin vitamin smell. It's that sweet vitamin E candy smell. And some people dig it and some people are really against it. I think it's, I think it's very unique. You don't really get that within the flavor, but I think it's just a very distinct smell. Uh, you know, that really sets uh, George Dickel apart. And I, I think, um, you know, what, I think the cause of it, I think it's a certain kind of wheat they use. Uh, or a certain kind of barley uh, that gives it that, you know, that distinct Flintstone vitamin smell. But enough about that. Nose, uh, still I get that, that heavy oak, um, maybe some berry in there. I don't really get too much vanilla or anything, but uh, we'll go ahead and give it a sip and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it. So it's actually a little bit better than what I remember. Um, again, I thought this was very good initially, but 
nice smooth fin nice smooth finish finish comes at the end it does you feel a little bit of heat on there which would make you think that it's going to be um you know more than 96 proof but again it's a nice nice finish at the end so the flavors i'm getting are uh Definitely heavy oak, some sort of mixed fruit, but the aftertaste I get, it's like a Neapolitan ice cream. So you get some chocolate, sweet vanilla, and then that berry. So that's a kind of, I think it's very unique, very different, very cool flavor profile. Price point, I'll give this an 8.5. Flavor profile, I'll give this a 7.5, so meat. Uh, I mean, in the middle, I think, uh, we'll just give it a 7.5. I think this is a solid selection. You can't beat it for the price. And again, you know, it's a very, very solid pick. So uh, that's all I got. We'll talk soon.